three attempts. Two failures. 18 months of planning. I think we finally got it right. I think so too. I see me a whole lot of alliances. I do. What are we doing? So we are gonna get something custom installed in our paradigm. Our paradigm? Yep, our paradigm. This is the last time you guys are gonna see our couch back here. We know Callie's not gonna approve, but we are gonna bring a little doggy bed for her. That's right, guys. There's something coming, and it's not gonna be a couch, and it's not gonna be these beautiful little, I'm gonna call them magazine holes. We <laughs> emptied everything out. Oh. Why, yeah. Martha? Why? Clark, what are we doing now? We are at the Alliance factory and we're gonna have something custom built and we're really excited. If you don't believe we're at the factory, there you go, there goes <laughs> forklift. And here, let's pull up our beautiful day shades and you can see more. <laughs> Pick a paradigm, y'all. Yep, there you have it. Pick a paradigm. All right, what are we doing? So we are getting a custom desk built in the back of our RV where this couch is. We're so excited for the desk option. It's gonna be a his, her, and we just got to figure out, are you on the left side or right side? That's well, the that's, only thing. Well, there's nothing to figure out. I'm left-handed. I get the left side. <laughs> and what are you? I'm right-handed. So you get the right side. See? And you know why? Because she's always right. And it makes me closer to the kitchen so I can make them a sandwich. That's because I like to cook. So let me just I, get that don't straight. Don't y'all, mm -mm, <laughs> don't you be going all, mm -mm, nope, don't blame this man. I'm not mansplaining <laughs> and you are not going down and nope, nope, nope. No, if you don't know, I love to cook, I love to bake, I love to grill. What the hell does that have to do with the desk, lady? Because it puts me right by the kitchen. It All makes, right, there you me... go. Now you know. She's right and on the right side. I'm left, I'm going on the left side. And it makes me happy. And the and the couch slope sleeper is going to go back to their B-stock program and you know, give to another ally. Yeah. So, I'm like, we've never used a sleeper sofa. It still has the plastic on it. We've had times, like, over a year where we had the couch out. We've had a sit-stand desk in the back. And that that destroyed after, like, two, three months on the road. The motor couldn't take it. Electric motors on a sit-stand desk and the back of a trailer? Mm -mm, they can't handle it. That's made to be sitting in your sticks yeah. and bricks. And we've had the desk. We had a different table. And we ended up putting the factory table back in. I mean, we've tried different work options. but this I is... want a real flinging desk that is not going to break on me. So we worked with Alliance. Yeah. And they are building a custom worktop desk with drawers, two mm -hmm. workstations. And it's going to match the countertops in our RV. It is going to look like it was here from day one. Yes, yeah, so and we're really so excited. If somebody wants to order a 340, 310, or a rear living situation mm -hmm. with a desk, who do they call? Alliance RV. That's right. Sales at Alliance. Talk to them because they can do some really cool stuff. This desk idea we've yeah. been working on for over a year. Yes. So we helped design, and one of our other friends has it, and it looks fantastic. And we've also seen them done in the slide outs. Mm -hmm. We've seen them done in the bunk rooms. So yeah. there's a lot of customizing you can do that you don't see on the build sheet. So sales at Alliance, if you are interested in getting a custom setup in your trailer. Yeah, we both work on the road remotely. I mean, of course, I own my own business. Chris still works, you know, the nine to five-ish job. <laughs> but the only one- Five to nine. Five nine, whatever. <laughs> nine to five. Yeah, but the only- the only person, the only is not going to approve of the desk is Callie. Yes, we're going to have to have a conversation with our pupper. Mm -hmm. And that's why she's not with us in this video right now is because we left her at the house in Florida because the trailer's literally at the factory as we stand here going in to get the desk put in. And we're in a hotel, so we don't want to deal with Callie being displaced and being in a hotel and not being a happy little pupper. And I'm going to tag along on Chris's work trip and we're going to Seattle. So Video on that one. Uh-huh. So it's going to be interesting when we come back in because we're not going to have our side storage on either the side of the little magazine racks. Yeah. I mean, holders. we put like blankets, whatever, you know, knickknacks. Um, I'll miss those, but I'm excited for the three drawers that are going to be in the middle. And I'm going to love the space. I mean, this is a huge space back here. Yeah, I think it ends up being about 72, 74 inches wide. So we're going to have plenty of room for two people to work. But the best part about the desk, my opinion, we're going to be facing out these big, beautiful atrium windows. And this is what one of the features we love about our paradigm. We're going to be working in some of the most remote work areas with beautiful views. We're really excited. So we got our trailer back from the factory. And what did they do? We had a custom rear desk put in with two workstations. The only person upset with this upgrade? Callie. <laughs> she lost her couch. But let's go on a tour and show you what we did 
and we're going to show you some modifications on how we're going to make this our own because if I'm not drilling holes, is it really venturesome couples? I don't think so, so let's drill some holes. Love our new desk it's amazing it is spacious there's just one problem all this wiry mess well that's what happens you got two full workstations and we both have docking stations so all of our wires right now run right across the top and they do clutter it up and then the way the plug comes off the front and underneath and it's the same on both sides but other than that, it's fabulous. Just like any desk you have at an office, um, we're gonna drill a hole and put those little inserts in for the wires and it's gonna look great. And we got a color that closely matches and you'll never know that we did that. You heard that guys, we're allowed to drill holes, <laughs> pull out the power tools. It's about to get messy. I just screwed up bad and it's not a joke. I literally just destroyed Martha's brand new 32 inch curved monitor while we're filming our desk upgrade. Let me switch over and show you what we just did. I was really excited. We got two brand new matching curved monitors and we took it out of the box, set it up. It was on the bed when we went to set it up today to film. This is what happened. I picked it up by the base and dropped it. And you can see right there in the corner, I shattered her brand new monitor before she even had a chance to use it. So we're going to go back to Costco, get another monitor. We cannot return this. This is our fault. Stupid tax. It happens, man. We're real with you guys. We show it. That's going to be about a $300 boo-boo right there. Yep. Lesson learned. Be careful. Don't carry it by the base. Right, Mr. Peters? Yes, ma'am. Well, that was a mess. <laughs> I learned a valuable lesson. Um, these epoxy slash whatever they are countertops get quite freaking hot when you use a drill through them. So the drill got stuck halfway through and then I had to wedge it out to get it out and I broke the drill bit. Um, but if I go halfway, flipped it and go halfway, works fine. So the hole went through. Martha asked me, why did I put the hole so far out? Well, there's support structure underneath there. So in order to clear it and make sure I didn't hit anything underneath, I had to bring it out a little bit. So let's see if I did a good job. What do you think? I think it looks great. Me too. You can't tell that it wasn't there from the factory. That's always the goal. Chris did a great job and what I love underneath is that we have the regular outlet down below and USB.
What do you think? I think it's fantastic. I love our new work setup. His and her desk, we get to look out the most beautiful views all around. Yep. And this is option number three, because the first one was our sit-stand desk, and after two months on the road, the bouncing in the back killed the motor. So that one, <laughs> thumbs down. Don't do a sit-stand desk back here. So we're like, let's use our custom beautiful epoxy pour split walnut tabletop. Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> Especially when you clamp dual monitors on it and you put big old dents right in the top of the epoxy and then mm -hmm. just life happens and you scratch that pretty thing. What happened? Yeah, we took it out and we put the factory dinette back in. Yeah, and that cost us an extra thousand dollars because we had to take it back to the gentleman that made it in Indiana and have it completely resurfaced. It looks wonderful now. It is staying at home. <laughs> Option three. Option three, we reached out to Alliance and we got a custom desk. This has been 18 months in the making. We've been loving this design. We've talked a lot about it before we got to this point. I think it's perfect. It matches the rest of the trailer. It is beautiful. Yes, and we have quite a bit of space between us here with three drawers, which I absolutely love because we can put our desk items in there <laughs> and our internet and our uh -huh. junk drawers come on call it what it is all right and actually callie has one of the drawers too for her toys on travel day <laughs> yep so there you go another major upgrade to the venturesome couple 340 paradigm i swear we have the most updated or modified paradigm in america no question about it yeah so we had to take a little break chris went ahead and drilled the holes in the desktop and then he had to change his shirt then we ran to Costco, we had to get another monitor, but we're all set up and ready to edit so you can watch this video. That's right. Like, <laughs> subscribe. Yep, and enjoy every moment.